Okay, I'm going to get even nerdier than I normally do because I find this story incredibly fascinating. So, uh, needless to say, there are questions that science is working on that they don't have the answers to yet. For example, there's an entire field of science called abiogenesis, which is dedicated to finding out exactly how the first life form came into existence. Now, they already have a, a group of hypotheses. Some of them are more likely to, than others. Some of them have more evidence than others. But there's also a, a question that scientists have been split on for decades. Namely, just how vast is space? Is there one universe or is there multiple universes? Well, scientists just had a big breakthrough and they found the first hard evidence that there is, in fact, multiple universes. Now, I'm going to let that sink in for a second because uh, maybe I'm alone, maybe I'm a nerd slash dork slash have no life, whatever the case is. But when I read that, I was stunned, man. That's a huge discovery. There might be multiple universes. And the way that uh, it was described to me when I read about it is, uh, think of our universe as one bubble in a bubble bath. Now, you know how tiny those little itty bitty bubbles are in the bubble bath. And to think that our universe is just one of those, it's the vastness of space really can leave you stunned. According to uh, our understanding of physics, at the outer limits of the universe, it's supposed to be relatively hot and relatively consistent all around. But what scientists found is that at a certain spot, it's cold. And get this, that means either our understanding of physics is completely wrong, which is highly unlikely, or that cold spot, or there might even be, I think, a few cold spots, those are the magnetic pulling of other universes with ours. And that's been occurring all the way since the Big Bang. Man, again, that blows my mind. We are part of a planet, which is part of a solar system. The solar system is part of a galaxy. The galaxy is part of a universe. And now the universe, uh, turns out, likely is part of the multiverse. Uh, look, if you're not, uh, uh, again, maybe I'm preaching to the choir here, but if that doesn't fascinate you, and look, here's a, an implication of this, that this is my conjecture and I'm taking it a step further. But the statistical probability that there is some sort of life on some other planet at some place within either, you know, not even necessarily the galaxy, although that could be too, but within the universe or within the other universes, it's statistically improbable. Or I almost want to go a step further and say impossible that there's not some other advanced form of life on another planet. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like, you know, ET, UFO, slash aliens, you know, over California or Mexico, and those are real. In fact, I think they're all incorrect and they're all wrong. We've never been visited by them. But does some type of form exist somewhere? And is it exciting to be on the frontier and learning about this? Yeah, absolutely.